Do you know how your camera works? It's a simple question, but the answer can unlock a world of amazing photography. Understanding your camera is like learning a new language. Once you've mastered it, you can communicate your creative vision with ease and confidence. In this video, we'll dive into the heart of photography, the camera itself. We'll explore its various forms, dissect its anatomy, and decode its modes. Each of these areas plays a crucial role in the final image you create. First, we'll explore different camera types, from the compact point and shoot to the high-end DSLR. Then we'll peel back the layers of camera anatomy to understand what makes a camera tick. Finally, we'll demystify camera modes, helping you decide when to use which mode for the best results. So, buckle up as you embark on this enlightening journey to become a better photographer. First things first, understanding the different types of cameras. They come in all shapes and sizes, each with its own unique set of features. Today, we'll delve into four of the most common types, DSLRs, mirrorless, point and shoot, and smartphone cameras. Let's start with the big guns, the digital single lens reflex, or DSLR cameras. These are the heavyweights of the photography world. Their main selling point, interchangeable lenses. This offers a level of versatility that can be a game changer in your photography journey. However, they're often larger and heavier than other options, which can make them less perfect for on-the-go shooting. Next, we have the mirrorless cameras. They're like the younger sibling of the DSLR, offering similar image quality and lens interchangeability, but in a compact package. They're lighter, smaller, and quieter, making them a favorite among street photographers. The downside? Their battery life tends not to be as robust as that of DSLRs. Then we have the point and shoot cameras. These are the easy riders of the camera world. They're compact, user-friendly, and come with a fixed lens, which means you don't have to worry about changing lenses. They're great for those who want good quality photos without the complexities of a DSLR or mirrorless camera, but the lack of lens interchangeability could limit your creative options. Lastly, we have smartphone cameras, the most accessible camera type. They're always with you, convenient, and can produce surprisingly good photos. With the right skills, you can take stunning shots. However, they may not offer the same level of control over your images as the other camera types. Each camera type has its own strengths and weaknesses. Some offer more control, others more convenience. Some are great for professionals, others for hobbyists or everyday users. It's all about finding what works best for you. Knowing the type of camera you have or want can make a world of difference in your photography journey. Now that we're familiar with camera types, it's time to dissect the anatomy of a camera. Just like a human body, a camera has many parts, each with its own unique function, all working together to capture the perfect shot. Let's dive in. First up, we have the lens. This is essentially the camera's eye. It's the part of the camera that focuses light onto the sensor, creating the image that you see. The lens can be fixed or interchangeable depending on the camera type. It's also responsible for zooming in and out, allowing you to capture a narrow or wide field of view. Next, we move on to the sensor. This is the heart of the camera. The sensor is a silicon chip that captures light and turns it into an electrical signal, which is then converted into the image you see on your screen or in your printouts. The size and quality of the sensor significantly impact the quality of your photos, including their resolution, depth of field, and low light performance. Now let's talk about the viewfinder. This is the part of the camera that you look through to compose and focus your shot. There are two main types of viewfinders, optical and electronic. Optical viewfinders show you the scene exactly as it is, while electronic viewfinders display a digital preview of your image, including exposure, white balance, and other settings. Moving on, we have the shutter button. This is the button that you press to take a picture. When you press the shutter button, the camera's shutter opens to expose the sensor to light. The length of time that the shutter stays open is known as the shutter speed, and it can be adjusted to control how much light hits the sensor, affecting the brightness or darkness of your phone.